I got early access to Claude's new Chrome extension. It's still missing a lot of features. It's still in research preview, but it actually works really well. It gives Claude direct access to your browser. It can click, type, navigate, all on its own. I spent a bunch of time testing it and came up with some use cases that would be good for developers. One use case I find works really well is just simple automation. I'm here in Google Drive, and if I open up the Claude Chrome extension, it can operate in two modes. You can just say, ask before it acting. So every time it does any kind of operation, it asks you first. Or you can say, ask without asking. So obviously this is more dangerous. It can just do it, whatever it wants. And inside here, you can also set up shortcuts. So I've set up a shortcut called file invoices. And what this does is, is look in this folder, find all the invoice files, and then copy the vendor name off the image, copy that, and then paste it into a new folder in the process folder. And we see the actions it's doing right now. So we see the first thing it does is take screenshot. So it has the ability to take a screenshot and click. It can do a wait, it can take another screenshot. Now it's actually opened up the invoice image. Now it's gonna just OCR on the fly, look through there and try to find the name of the vendor on the invoice. And it did that, it found Davis PLC. It's doing the same thing on the second invoice. And notice up here in the top, is, it says Claude started debugging this browser. So it looks like it's hooked into the debugging options inside Chrome to actually make this work. And it's actually pretty fast. Not lightning fast yet, but it's pretty decently fast. Now let's see if it can create a new subfolder. Now it's the ability to type. We see at the first time is typing Davis PLC. Creates that folder. Does the same thing on the second folder. Now it's keeping in the context which invoice goes to which folder. So that's all good. Now it should be able to just move them both in, into the different folders. Pretty crazy to watch this thing in action because you just think of all the manual tasks and jobs people all over the world do this kind of stuff all day long. A lot of those tasks are just to be automated very quickly with this kind of stuff. And then when I finish, it just gives us a nice little summary of everything it did. It tells us where, what moved where, what it found for the vendor name. So all the intelligence you expect from Claude but now it can just do everything for you in the browser. Another use case that Claude Chrome extension will be so useful for is documentation. I have a really simple web application here where you can just fill in information for an invoice and then you can just download as a PDF. Basically a quick way to generate a professional looking invoice. If I do the shortcut PRD, what I did for that is it generates a product requirements document or PRD. So it's basically gonna inspect this application and then give it back information like product overview, the key features, the technical architecture, the UI, and it can browse back and forth. So now it's going back to the main page of this application, just the landing page to see what that's all about. It's gone back now into the generate the invoice page. So I went through, added a new row, it downloaded a PDF, and then it came up with the PRD here. You can definitely go a little bit deeper than this, but it definitely gives you a good starting point anyway. It really lays out well all the key features of the application, the user flows, the navigation structure. It even gives you a data model inferred from the UI. So it's just kind of look at this UI and giving you a sample data model you could use for build similar type application. It's a really useful starting point. But what I think this is getting really cool is once this integrates with Claude code, it could take something like this, send it over to Claude Code, have Claude Code build it, launch up a dev server. Then the Chrome extension could look at that new application, compare it with the old one. All kinds of things like that are possible. Hey, my name is Ben. If you're into AI coding, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter, the AI Unleashed News. It'll keep you up to date on the latest in AI software development and also just tell you what I'm working on. It's the first link in the description and I hope to see you there. Another development type task I can see the Chrome extension being really good at is just manual testing. And what that does is inspect all the functionality of this application, Look for any problems, improvements, and security vulnerabilities. Now let's open up, create a new chat room in this simple chat application. Doing some really simple tests, like just putting a test message in here, saying testing the chat functionality. So now it's actually trying to test the security aspects and first it's opening up the browser console for errors. It's also trying to set the input to alert or script tag. And this is just making sure that the application is not vulnerable for inserting scripts into your chats, some kind of injection attack. And now it's actually trying to create a chat with special characters and then do potential injection attacks again on the channel name. So it's actually pretty, doing a pretty decent job of some manual security testing here. And then it puts a big thing here, critical finding, path traversal vulnerability. The application allows dot dot slash admin as a channel name, unprotected admin channel, chat history exposed. No proper access control. I think actually did a surprisingly good job of his manual testing. This would also be really good for like user guides and documentation of that kind. If we could like go through an application, take screenshots of all the different steps in the process and put together a guide or a PDF, all those kind of jobs the developer doesn't want to do. I think this is going to be able to do a lot of that. I'm not sure when this will get rolled out to all cloud users right now. It's just in research preview. If you do have some ideas for the Claude Chrome extension, leave them in the comments below and I'll pass those on to Anthropic. But one other thing you do have to keep in mind though, this is a very risky thing to use. Obviously, if you have an AI controlling your entire browser, if you have any sensitive data stored in that browser, like banking information, for example, 
I'd be very cautious about using it and definitely do your research before you start using it. But it is super powerful what it can do. It basically gives you all the power of Claude and all the understanding and let's just work on its own. I think it's gonna be even better when I start integrating things like MCP servers so you can bring data from other systems into your browser. It's gonna be pretty amazing what you can be able to do with this. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.